Uh, real quick, let me show you how to install it on uh, Yosemite. Uh, you'll run into an error to where it won't it won't want to. Oops, it won't want to install. And oops, that's the wrong one too. This is actually this one. Okay, so you're gonna have these in there, and not the hotfix. That's something I just added in my folder. But uh, you're gonna have uh, the DMG, and if you have Yosemite, it's gonna give you an error. All right, let me skip that. And real quick, here we go. There you go. There's that error, and it tells you, and you're like, yeah, I do. And uh, so, how do we fix that? Real quickly, um, let's go right over to your hard drive system drive go to system folder library and core services go down here to the bottom and we're gonna take this folder this file here drag it over and we're gonna go ahead and open it and change this to 10.9.0 there you go and we're gonna save it and there you go you saved it and we're going to save this one somewhere else that's the original and we're going to put this one in here that's the modified place and good okay so we got it there let's try it again now and you're good to go so uh it won't uh it thinks now that you have 10.9 now 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 that you've done this really quickly put it right back change it back here it is Here's the original one. Let's make sure that uh, says 10.10.10. .10 .10. There you go. And take it and put it right back over there where it belongs. And don't worry, it won't it won't mess your install up. The, the warning's already been satisfied. So um, yeah, go ahead and install it. It's gonna go ahead and continue. And there's no real trick to it. It's just like installing a retail version. Once you're done installing. Um, from there, from there, you should install when you, on your restart your virtual instruments. That one is no no worries whatsoever. See, doesn't really matter there. And uh, just make sure you replace the system file, uh, the system version file. Otherwise, you will have issues. If you don't replace it and you reboot like Pro Tools wants you and you reboot and your system thinks it's 10.9 so all your apps will be locked out and if you remember then yeah just replace it again just fix it and then restart and uh, your apps will still be uh, locked out and uh, you'll just have to go through them one on one by one to show that uh, they're, they're clear but that, that won't happen just make sure you put that system file back before you restart and from there here you go uh, it'll be of course over here it's not going to appear on your dock like mine there's mine what I did I just took it over and I dropped it into my dock which I have there let's start it now you will have another issue on Yosemite and number one reason why nobody really cares to have it on Yosemite and um, let's just go ahead and create it. I have this issue here where you go to look at these and they're blacked out. You have to kind of scroll over to see them. Now if you have that issue there is a fix but uh, it's not perfect. Um, it's not really hard to do what you're going to do. Okay even it might even work without me closing it. I played around with it a little bit. Let's go back over here. Open, open that back up okay there we go now what you can do we could try this way first see if it works go right over here go right over here right over here 